For my longtime viewers, you might remember that on my old channel, I made this video and in it had this claim. I'd say Dunhung is currently the best hunt character, falling a little short of Zila. Ah, uh, that was 8 months ago. Now the meta has shifted so much that almost all 4 star hyper carries are struggling. There's a lot to tackle about star real state right now, so let's pick off at it one by one. Dunhung, 4 star hypers, and why they're trash. Dunhung 4 star, or as I like to call him Danny, is in a horrible spot right now. With the enemies being level 95 and the content in MOC is absolutely horrendous for him. The level gap is too big for him to manage. There's also also this one unit, the Medicus Shapeshifter that's weak to win, who spams these reviving summons that Danny absolutely cannot deal with unless you have a Locha. That old video of me shilling Danny was back in 1.0 and 1.1, where the level gap between the player characters and the enemies were smaller. Back then, I could easily burst the Medicus Shapeshifter without letting him get value off of his summons. Nowadays, that's nigh impossible due to the fat amount of HP and death a level 95 and enemy has. Obviously, since he's a hunt character, he won't be any good at all in pure fiction either. The only way he can be irrelevant again is if they ever have a single target damage event. The best way to use him nowadays is for damage per screenshot clickbait. This giant ass number on the screen might be impressive, but even a crack Danny will clear floor 12 with 5 to 6 cycles. Quite slow. Another trend that I noticed was that most of the 4 star hyper carries are in kind of a bad spot too. The only ones I who's enjoying their time right now are the Hurta players, since she absolutely demolishes everything that's in pure fiction, even if they aren't weak to ice. Oh, and of course who could forget the Ching Chue gamblers who stake everything for the winning hand. The 4 star releases are just harmony supports, daughter nihilities, and sub DPS or breaker destruction characters. So far, there hasn't been another attempt at a hyper carry, and honestly, it makes sense. When you're stacked up against Jing Yuan, Daniel, and Jing Liu, it's really tough to justify or even make an E6 4 star stand anywhere near the peak. Hoyoverse has stifled 4 star power and while I personally dislike it, it isn't that bad to do. Of course if you want the focus to be on your 5 star banners, you gotta make sure their gameplay and numbers live up to the hype. Otherwise, players who are focused on big number on screen make dopamine go up aren't going to get their hit for gacha addiction. If you've played Genshin Impact, you might have heard the term national team being thrown around. This team was formed in the game's first patch and it was famous for being a very strong team despite being comprised of only 4 stars. To this day, the national team is still strong and viable, albeit it with some minor adjustments. This has led to players such as myself to just wipe the equivalent of MOC with 4 stars and genuinely do not care about any of the major 5 star releases because I could clear with the 4 stars anyway. But refusal to make 4 star hyper carries will lead to an interesting dynamic for this game. This would mean that almost all of the 4 stars will either be a support or a supportive sub DPS for your 5 stars. This is evident with Misha and Shei's releases where they can easily serve as a sub DPS for a lot of comps, and all of the nihility daughters essentially being Kafka units, since they genuinely cannot carry on their own. Your centerpiece units will almost always be a 5 star, and all the 4 stars will just be the foundation. The hunt problem. I genuinely believe that they're never going to make another 4 star hunt hyper carry again. Not only are hunts in a bad spot right now due to MOC being destruction fest and PF being erudition meta, but also because all of the limited 5 star hunts hunts have a special gimmick to them that allows them to overcome hunt's weakness of focus firing. Sela handles AoE decently due to her resurgence turns, Dr. Ratio gets so much extra MVs with his follow-ups, and Topaz is a combo unit that barely qualifies as a hyper carry. Obviously, they still are suboptimal in pure fiction, but at least they clear fast in MOC. For the new 4-star hunt, they'd have to give some big MVs or gimmicks to the unit, or settle for a trash unit that no one uses, or make a supportive hunt character that can make use of the dispelling battle pass light cone. In any case, I'm sure the hunt problem will stick until the game's end of service until they make single target content. And of course, you can expect the limited 5 stars to be immune to this clause. I intentionally made this video to address a situation I made up in my head. If you've watched this far, you're probably enjoying my ranting. Please, consider subscribing. I really want to hit 1k subs this year and it would mean a lot to me if you told me your opinion on this subject matter in 
the comments. I respond to them all. Test it out. Power creep? The power creep in this game isn't that bad just yet. Usually, Hoyverse has been good at avoiding direct power creep when it comes to limited 5 stars. Obviously, Yan Cheng has been completely obliterated and blown out of the water by Jing Liu due to the 5 star standard and limited power gap. But other than that, most of the characters released carved their own niche, whether it be hyper carry, dots, and follow up attacks. No one stepped on anyone's foot yet, although I think that may slowly change within one or two more years of this game's runtime. But I have faith in Hoyverse. And if your fave ever does get power crept, at least you can pull for their Eidolons if you've been playing for that long, and you'll barely notice the thing. Conclusion I made the statement that Dunhung was on par with Sila at 1.0, and at the time, I genuinely believed that. I've maxed him out and gave him crack relics that Silver Wolf got me, and he was there when I cleared my first 30 star MOC. Currently, I have all of the tools I need to clear MOC for the foreseeable future. Two 5 star sustainers, a DPS for most elements, and a wide assortment of harmonies and nihilities to support with. At this point, most of my pulls are going to be for 5 star Eidolons and Light Cones, and when my favorite characters get their reruns. My content and guides will still assume you're a new F2P player though. This video is not only to address that things have changed, but also a public memorial of Dunhang's retirement. Goodbye, Giren Naruto. You will be missed.